Well, that's a great question, actually. Isn't it? And, and uh, you know, funnily enough, I was uh, thinking about that on the way over here today. I mean, we've had a number of positions in the portfolios where stocks have doubled, tripled, even quadrupled or, or whatever in, in maybe a, uh, you know, over a two or three year time period. But if you, if you put it in the context of what's been our best investment in the, over the century, then interestingly, we've, had, we've got three stocks in the portfolio today where the share price is over 10 times what it was when we first invested in the companies. So uh, one of those is Wirecard, you know, a company we first bought in 2008. And even after the, the uh, uh, less strong performance of the shares in the last year or so, that stock is up over 10 times, up over 11 times, in fact, since we first bought shares in the company. Um, also in the technology sector, ASML, one of our favorite companies over the last 20 years, global leader uh, in, uh, in lithography machines for making semiconductors. You know, the share price was quite volatile in the first decade, you know, traded between 15 and 20 euros. Um, and, and we, we uh, you know, invested in the company. But then in the last decade, it's really come good. And, the, you know, the, the shares that we bought just under 20 euros are now worth 240 euros. So, you know, pretty much a 12 bagger. But actually, the best investment we've made this decade is uh, a company that's, you know, really been a very steady outperformer. And that's uh, Novo Nordisk. And, you know, I kind of really like this story because it's one a company that I really um, – uh, had some resonance with because it's the, you know, one of the global leaders in diabetes treatment. And my father was diagnosed with diabetes and when he was 65, uh, a lot of people said, uh, you know, life expectancy may not be that great, but he carried on and, you know, he actually had died a year or two ago, aged uh, uh, 93. And he was a Novo Nordisk customer that whole time. And I was pretty much a Novo Nordisk shareholder as well. And, uh, you know, they, they did a fantastic job. The, the customer, uh, sorry, the patient population grew much faster than people expected. They had great products. We invested in the company in the year 2000 uh, at the equivalent of 10 Danish crown a share, uh, sorry, 20 Danish crown a share, and the share price is now 350. So that's been a 17 bagger. So I have to say, best investment of the century, Novo Nordisk. Um, the best stock, I think, is easy. Um, it's, it's an interesting story. One business that we've owned for about 17 years is a pharmaceutical company called Decra Pharmaceuticals. Um, which when we bought it was not an obvious pharmaceutical company for the fund to have. Uh, we never really owned many pharmaceuticals 20 years ago. Um, but we bought it end of 2002. They had a profits warning. Mm. The shares halved, which was a, a lesson thinking, what have we done? Um, but then we had the courage to actually buy more on that warning. And the shares ever since have turned into a bit of a darling. They're a growth business now. The company has done extraordinarily well. It's changed its spots. It is more of a growth business. It's involved in veterinary pharmaceuticals. I think the shares are close to 30 pound now. So that's 60 times the 50p that we might have paid back in 2003. And one final point, the, uh, the chief executive at Ian Page, who's been running it all that time, he has changed a small business to one that is very, very large now and massively successful. So he's changed as the business has changed. It's a terrific story. Mm. I think I'm bound to say Church House itself, but that's possibly not in the spirit of it. Um, will be my next choice. I think uh, Charlie Munger's book, Poor Charlie's Almanac would be a high contender. That I think was certainly seminal in my thinking. Um, take it more seriously, I think I'd say Halma. Um, from the word go, meeting Halma's management, understanding the way they operated, uh, the way they, they ran their business was just a delight. And that's been a tremendous investment. That's an interesting question. Um, I think it will be all too easy just to cite one of the large cap companies that we've had good fortune to be invested in, the likes of an Apple or an Alphabet or a Visa, who have all provided very good returns for us. But I think from a sort of, a, in terms of getting particular enjoyment out of making an investment from an active fund manager, it's, also, it's always when you've identified a, a smaller cap company who have gone on to do great things. So I think I'd probably identify a company called ServiceNow as being one of our best investments of the 21st century. Um, ServiceNow operates in an area called IT operations management. It's very unsexy. So historically, the company has had relatively little attention versus some of its more high profile peers. 
who have gone after more sexier areas of the market. It was a relatively small cap company when we invested in it several years ago, um, but it's given us considerable returns. It's almost been a 10 bagger for us, not quite. Um, we backed the management team. We backed the fact that there was a huge addressable market for this company to go after. And because it was an unsexy area, they had relatively little competition to go after that huge opportunity. And they're still continuing to grow at a very healthy rate.